What's going on everybody, this is Archduck, and welcome to A Demonologist's Guide, Basics Edition. Now, you may ask, what is the Basics Guide of Demonologist? It's whenever you're just starting out and you uh, need to find out what to do. What is Demonologist, you may ask? Demonologist is a ghost hunting game where you have to guess the ghost by getting evidence. It stands apart from Phasmophobia by being able to do secondary objectives, then being able to exercise the ghost after the secondary objectives are done with, and later with more equipment as well. Now, what is the said evidence? Evidence could be EMF level 5, ESG ghost activity, ectoplasmic stains, spirit box response, fingerprints via UV light, easel drawings, and freezing tints. To begin with, you only start out with one EMF reader, one ESG reader, one ectoplasmic glass, one spirit box, one UV light, one easel canvas, and two flashlights. Now, what do you do with these equipment and how do you use them? EMF reader. EMF reader detects from electromagnetic waves from one to five. It's one of the easiest early evidences to, to appear. And the reading is based on the direction you are looking. The ESG device raises paranormal energy for entities that display entity on the device and they go into a T pose once they hit the device. It's one of the latest evidences to appear. It's very hard to get and is finicky. It's recommended placing these between choke points like doors and between furniture. The ectoplasmic glass allows you to see ectoplasm, or ghost goo as I call it, left behind by paranormal entities and invisible objects. This is one of the earliest evidences to appear, and it will only appear on walls from your foot level to your eye level. The spirit box allows you to question paranormal entities, one of the earliest evidences to appear. For the ghost box, you must stand still for it to actually work. A uh, ghost symbol will turn blue whenever you're speaking and it's the ghost is speaking back to you. You can also use a text-based menu. We could change that in the settings. Next is a UV light. And this UV light reveals fingerprints from paranormal entities on objects. These will always be on doors and lights after ghost activity. Don't count on fingerprints the first time a ghost interacts with objects. After the second ghost interaction, it should or shouldn't appear on light switches or doors. Next is easel drawings. It allows paranormal entities to draw images from the dimension they reside in. One of the latest evidences to appear places also in choke points like doors or in between furniture. Patience is key with the easel because the ghost may not interact with it for some time. Next is freezing temps. Your breath is visible in cold conditions whenever the freezing temps are active. It is also one of the latest evidences to appear. Some last key tips regardless of difficulty and status in the game. To begin with, always bring a light, an EMF reader, and a spirit box into the house for a quick ghost ID. You should also sweep through the whole map to make the ghost interact with things more quickly, and then you start investigating after that. After IDing the ghost room, you should go back and forth from the tent and drop all your equipment into the room. Save your lights for the ghost room first. Then you can go to the bigger rooms and switch on those lights, and then you can use lights whenever you want. The ghost room will drain your sanity the fastest, so you need your light on for that. Lastly, when in doubt, ESG it out. If you can't figure out what evidence you are looking for and it's been a long time, most likely it is the ESG. With these basics, you should be able to ID the ghost whenever just starting out. You most likely will not be able to do the secondary objectives because you will not have the equipment. And in effect, you will not be able to move on to the exorcism because you need to complete the secondary objective before you go to the exorcism. You can later do the secondary objectives by buying equipment. Thank you for watching. If you need more examples, you can check out my past and future demonologist videos. Thank you, and have a good day.